How, tell the people how about your time, Mo, like the drive process you having, you know, health little issues concern and how that kind of detour for you detour you from where you were projected to go to where you at now? Yeah, so me coming out of college uh, made all American consensus. Stood. I remember when I stood right <laughs> now. Felt pretty good about everything. You know, hired top agency, hired CA. Yeah. Felt pretty good about coming out and had a lot of uh, first and second round grades, so I felt really good. Didn't go to the senior bowl because I, you know, I was like, all He's right, the guy. I'm, you, I'm good. You know yeah, I, mean? I, don't, I don't have anything else to prove. I played yep. five seasons at Michigan. Uh, felt really good. Felt good about my times and everything for the combine and, and lifts and everything like that. But, I mean, I showed up to the combine at Indy, and our first thing that you do when you get there is do all of your medical uh, testing. So once I got up there, did some medical testing, and then I got called back because they had found um, something with my heart. So mm -hmm. they found out that I had an irregular heartbeat, so they wanted to do some more testing. So for me, they're, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, sometimes this happens. Some guys, you know, have a little bit of an irregular heartbeat or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I went in, did all my testing, got an MRI for the second time up there. And basically after that, the doctors called me. They brought me down to this room. And they told me that I had a heart condition, which was HCM. Yeah. So Did you know? That? I had no idea. And I did, wow, that's so, a good thing. So I had no yeah. idea. So they bring me down. And basically they tell me, you can't participate in the drills. We're not going to let you because of this heart condition. And basically just said, like, we don't think that from us that you should be playing football anymore. So <laughs> you go from being a first or second round pick to – being in the high light of your life, you're like, damn, I'm finally made it. I'm about to make this money. I'm about to, you know, take care of my family and everything. Yeah. And then you get pulled into a room during the time where you're going to make all that money. Mm -hmm. And they tell you that, you know, you're not supposed to be playing. So after that, I went through the combine, just did meetings and stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of the guys were telling me that the people were grilling them in there, but they, you know, were kind of <laughs> sensitive because of what I was going through. They yeah. kind of just talked through some film with me and everything like that. So after that, I just had to get some more testing done. Um, went over to see like the top heart specialists in Boston at Harvard, and then went to UPenn and just got a bunch of opinions from everybody. And they all said that I'd be good to play. So I went through that and then come to the draft. I have no idea. My agent's telling me, I mean, you can go one, you could go undrafted. So I have no idea what's going on. Oh, God. So I'm just sitting there uh, listening, had about 20 teams my agent said had taken me off the board completely so i had about i had about i think i had about five or six teams that mm -hmm. still had me on their board for yeah. draft day and you know just waiting every day every round because you know there's three days so you get the first round then you get second and third mm -hmm. and then fourth fifth sixth seventh yeah. on there so i'm on the third day and i'm just waiting because i had the raiders that called me and they were like yeah you know we could take you and then the the Browns had called me as well. Mm -hmm. They said they would probably take me. Philly called me, said they'd probably take me. Yeah. So I'm just sitting here waiting. I got no idea. Yeah. I'm seeing these guys <laughs> get drafted. I'm like, man, I'm way better than this guy. I'm way better than this guy. And you always see like, you know how they show the board and they're like top available. It's like Mohurst. Mohurst like, since day yeah. since day one, top <laughs> available D lineman. I'm just sitting there like, man. My mom's over there stressing. She's like, is anyone going to pick right, them yeah. up? They be waking it worse. Oh, my mom was making it worse. I said, mom, I said, mom, stop stressing me out. You're right. <laughs> One like, of you, the stress, most. you stressing me out. So yeah. I get the call uh, Get the call from the Raiders. John Gruden calls me. Oh, that. Mom hurts. Like, 